A very good morning. Thanks for tuning into CNN News 18. I'm Krithveen Valia. We first up start with the latest we're tracking from Jammu and Kashmir. A major terror attack in Doda killed four Indian Army personnel, one Jammu and Kashmir police official. And remember, the last so many hours we've been tracking the latest as far as the search operations are concerned. Though we're learning that the last rites uh, of these fallen soldiers will also be conducted in their hometowns today itself, the Indian Army confirmed the casualties has announced that uh, search for the terrorists in Doda is still underway. This marks the tenth such attack in Jammu and Kashmir over the past one month, and uh, half uh, primarily occurring in Jammu, Poonch, Rajouri. and doda region south of pir panjal mostly the kashmir valley remember has seen fewer attacks likely due to increased security measures and that's why we're seeing this kind of a shift taking place in the strategy by these terrorists there are several aspects that are being spoken of by security experts as well we will go across to our reporters to get you the latest on that front but first up the reactions coming in wo to bahut hi decent tha aur ऐसे मतलब कंप्लेन का भी नहीं करता था वो फिर कंप्लेन करते ना लोग ऐसे तो ऐसे नहीं था वो इज अ वेरी डिसेंट गाय तो जैसे तो उसको आर्मी में जाना भी था उसको बता भी रखा था हम लोग ने कि आर्मी में तो लाफ लाइफ टफ होता है क्योंकि उसने देखा हुआ है अपने पापा को हमने बोला तो तुम या तो नेवी में जाओ या एयरफोर्स में बता उसने वही फिर आर्मी में जाने के लिए सोचा फिर गर्व तो होगा तो होता ही है ना देश के लिए देश के लिए कुछ किया उसने है ना तो देश लिए तो कुछ किया है तो गर्व तो होता ही है Let me go across to Ishan Wani joining us with more details. Ishan, uh, you know it's a difficult time indeed for the family members of those brave hearts, uh, you know who in fact sacrificed their lives in the line of duty. But as far as as search operations are concerned, once again we're told a little bit of activity has been witnessed at the encounter site. What can you tell us about it in the latest? Uh, well, it's a little away from the encounter site where a VDC member of the Village Defence Guard uh, has exchanged gunfire with the militants. It remains to be seen whether it's the same group or a different group. And uh, reinforcements there have been rushed in. Uh, we are told that it was during the night time that this Village uh, Defence Guard personnel uh, saw a movement of uh, militants, and that's when he opened fire. Uh, the sources indicating that uh, it was retaliated uh, by the militants. They fired back, and uh, that led to a brief exchange of gunfire. Uh, in this particular part of Doda, uh, uh, there has been intense uh, search operation through this forest area uh, by a joint team of security forces, including the JNK police and the Indian Army. Uh, they are trying to pin those militants down who have been able to, you know, assault uh, the four Indian Army personnel, uh, you know, resulting in them dying in action uh, at uh, that particular location. Uh, all of them were treated at the hospital, but they later on they succumbed to their injuries. Uh, but in the latest, we have seen that um, an exchange of gunfire during the night time has taken place. Uh, who are uh, VDCs, Village Defence Guards? These are basically, you know, people from the village who have been empowered by the JNK government and the police, trained well uh, with their rifles, so that uh, you know such incidents or such movements can be tackled, and they could uh, inform the police and also protect their villages uh, from uh, any such militant activity. This has been there uh, prior to uh, you know 2019 as well, or uh, say in the 90s and late 90s as, as well in 2000s when the village defence guards became a key uh, to informing the police and also launching an assault. Uh, they they have been reactivated. They have been trained again, and we saw that a year or so back, uh, many of them were trained by security forces. Uh, you know how to handle the weapon. Many of them are young. Uh, so they are trying to guard and defend their villages in these areas uh, wherever they feel the presence of militants is uh, they try to launch a counter attack and this is precisely what has happened and this is pointed out at the importance of having vdcs in these villages of doda kishtwar poonch rajouri uh, but yes forces have launched an intense operation in these areas they are trying to track down the movement of these militants and they believe that they are still in the area and given the fact that they are highly trained so every move by the uh, you know army will have to be calculated uh given also the fact that uh, you know they they can be at a height and a position which gives them an advantage and that's why forces want to ensure that they, they are able to uh you know uh, do every operation with precision and don't take any more casualties uh they have lost a lot of uh, forces personnel and they wouldn't want that to repeat again and that's why precisely it's taking time for the security forces to carry on uh, these operations in the woods of rajouri uh, poonch doda Uh, or any other places where uh, there is a mountain factor the terrain factor the density of the forest or uh, a natural caves which give support uh, mm. to the militants who are trying to hide there unfortunately these factors are playing 
uh, into you know the advantage of uh, these terrorists who remain hidden still it's been over 24 hours now since the encounter first took place since we lost some of our brave hearts and a little bit of a activity that's now been reported in the latest and yes search operations are only intensifying by the hour ishan continue to stay on with us uh, pdp chief mehbooba mufti has also attributed responsibility for the attack to the jammu and kashmir dgp and called for his dismissal cnn news 18's anand narsimhan in fact conducted this conversation and exclusive interview with the JNK DGP regarding the increase in incidents of terror attacks. He in fact expressed condolences to the fallen soldiers and emphasized that every police officer remains steadfast in confronting terrorists, ensuring that such perpetrators will 